you are sitting in your home. You turn on your TV and watch a live event of the Olympics. Have you ever wondered how are you able to watch it live? Well, this is all thanks to satellites. So, what is a satellite? For a start, a satellite is any object that orbits another larger object. For example, our moon is a satellite of Earth, and we have our Earth is a satellite of the Sun. So there could be many satellites. These are known as natural satellites. How about those satellites we launched into space? Well, these are man-made satellites. Phones, TVs, internet, you name it. Many of our modern telecommunications rely on satellites. Some satellites are also for science, observations, and navigations. Guess how many satellites are orbiting the Earth today? 500? 1000? Or 2000? Do you know, as of today, there are at least 7000 satellites orbiting the Earth? To give you a perspective, Elon Musk is planning to launch at least 12,000 satellites just for Starlink alone to achieve planet-wide high-speed internet. This is nearly double the number of functional satellites we have currently orbiting the Earth. So with that many satellites, you can bet that there are different satellite types and classifications. Generally speaking, there are three types of satellites. Low Earth Orbit Satellite, shortened to LEO, then you have medium Earth satellites, MEO satellites. Lastly, you have geostationary orbit satellites, known as geosatellites. So, what are the differences between LEO, MEO, and geosatellites? If your guess is the difference in terms of operating heights, you are correct. According to International Telecommunication Union 2020, LEO satellite has altitude of 160 to 2000 kilometers. It takes around 88 to 127 minutes for one foot orbit. MEO satellite has an altitude of 2000 to 30,788 kilometers. It takes around 127 minutes to 24 hours for one foot orbit. And GEO satellite has an altitude of 35,786 kilometers about the Earth's surface. Full orbit satellite period for this type will be approximately 24 hours for a revolution around the Earth. For a satellite communication to work, there needs to be three parts. Satellite, the transponder, uplink and downlink. Two of these are situated at ground stations except the satellite. First, you have the satellite uplink where the signal is sent from the ground station to the satellite, for example, the TV signal. The satellite takes the signal and performs many processes including filtering and amplification before it relays the signal back to a receiving ground station through a downlink channel. And depending on the bandwidth it operates at, the latency between uplink and downlink may also vary. The rule of thumb is, the higher the frequency it operates at, the lower the latency. But on average, a satellite has around 638 milliseconds of latency. For our normal day-to-day -day communications, it is still acceptable. Of course, satellite latency will be slower than other technologies like fiber optics, but it's still crucial for its ability to cover a very long distance communications. That's all for this time. Would you like to see more videos like this? Let us know in the comments below your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, see you all.